Okay, now that we've got both of these published um, in our built in our Folio Builder, here's our iPad des uh, our iPad design in our New York Groove Folio. See, we have the four. It shows that we have the landscape and portrait layout. So we come back here, and here's our New York Groove. I'm going to open it up again. There's the iPad design. I open that, and hold on, and I see both that I have properly imported my landscape and portrait layout. So let's go back to this. Now let's take a look and preview this and just make sure it's all working on desktop. And we'll see this and we should be able to see our scroll. Now if you hit the control R, control R and control you know, you toggle between control R, you will have the layout uh, in both the vertical and the horizontal, and you can see how that works. You know, you hit the arrow key, it'll scroll over to the next. We can check our video, make sure it's playing. Yep, it's all working fine. And let's go to the next one. We see, make sure this is how we can check everything and see that. Actually, we locked that on. We may have locked that on horizontal swipe only because I can't move that up and down so, but you can change the specs on that and then update uh, update that so everything seems to be working and what we need to do now what we want to do is get ready to publish this and we want to publish this to our our uh, uh, folio producer so what we need to do now is open up um, folio producer it's on our desktop. It's, you know, you've got to be on the internet and make sure this goes and uploads just like a website. So you're going to have your digital publishing suite. I need to sign in again with my Adobe login and password. Oops, Jeff at jeffrickson.com. I'm signed in. And it takes a little bit. Hmm. It comes up, takes us to the dashboard, or we want to get to the dashboard where we see all of our projects. I need to go to Folio Producer, and this will show me any of the projects that I have, and it'll show up on my dashboard. Okay. So what we're going to do, you can see I have New York Groove, it shows up, and we need to actually, before it'll publish, you have to do the following, you have to get your cover previews, and these are your thumbnails. Now, uh, I've created mine and created these ahead of time so that they're the exact right proportions, 1024 by 768, and then also one that's a horizontal one, 768 by 1024. So I'm going to get the first one, the 1024 by 768, we'll go to our projects folder, and let's get this vertical one here. We'll open that, and it's going to load that thumbnail, and you'll need this because this is what it'll show up on your uh, iPad or your mobile device. And let's get the vertical or the horizontal one. Do that. And let's just fill out. We've got a couple things that we just need to fill out real quickly. Publication name, let's call it uh, SMD Project. Folio number, just call it number one. And no need to put a product ID. Description, uh, project for s and workshop. These are all just not really that important. It just got to fill, but it won't let you publish this until you get this all filled in. And just put product ID. You don't have to put that. Just hit any key or whatever, and you just publish it. And so once this publishes, now this is going to be viewable on your iPad or your mobile device. So now it's ready to go. Let's see other projects here.